Hello, hello everyone. This is Maria from MariaScraftingCorner.com and welcome. Welcome back. <laughs> it's been what more than 15 days. I don't even remember how to manage my software. Today's gonna be a whole tryout, guys. I hope somebody joins me. I know I have been out for a while. You'll know my mom was here, and not only she's not a crafter, I also wanted to spend and make the most out of my time with her. Um, if you are watching here in Facebook or in YouTube, please comment. I am able to see your comments in the little software I have. So um, let me know you're watching and I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Hey Elizabeth, how are you? Thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. So as you guys can imagine, I have been out for a while and my brain is a little lazy. I have been thinking, well, what do I really want to do? How do I want things happening? Hey, how are you Carrie? So good to see you too. Hi, Elizabeth. I did have a great um, visit with my mom. Um, we had a lot of fun. It's just thing after thing after thing with her. Um, she loves Thanksgiving, but she also likes... Uh, thank you, Elizabeth. I appreciate that. But she also likes going to the Black Friday deals. So it was a lot of fun. Um, and she did stay for quite a while. Usually it's more like nine days this time she stayed like a whole two weeks which i am really thankful i was the one that booked that hi <laughs> kiwi but um but yeah she was like oh my god it's 15 days and i'm like oh yeah <laughs> sorry <laughs> my fault anyways like i was saying guys i am really almost getting acquainted with back i don't even know how to speak english guys back with my software hi renee how are you uh back with bean crafting it's crazy yes i know it's it got a lot it's it was a lot of time anyways so i have received the new paper pumpkin kit which is adorable i hope you guys have it or received it i think that paper pumpkin is really really stepping up um their game in order to get more um you know more subscribers and these little boxes treat boxes are amazing i am pretty sure hello brenda how are you uh i did have a wonderful thanksgiving how was yours um i have to say they are amazing i know at this point in time you've probably seen 20 different types of alternatives and um of people just working with them so i'm really going to go through the kit really really quick more because of me than you so again i received it when my mom was here i opened it super excited and then i was like okay i have to put this away because i just can't <laughs> deal with it right now so I have that one here. Let me see if I have the one that is. And this is the one that we're going to be working today. I am actually, so I know I usually work with just one kit and um, we only use white and um, black paper. For this card, I have decided to make a, quite a change. Um, I'm going to be using both October and November's kits. We're going to mix and match a little. Um, I had an idea and I thought it was just a good idea to play with both of them. Um, you can totally do it with just October's, I think, or you can make it with, um, with November's and just make your own scenes if that's what you want, but that'll be a little harder, um, to do here. So, uh, I am going to mix and match. I hope that's okay for those of you that are here only for, I mean, for the alternatives on using only what's in the kit, but hopefully you got both kits and you'll see why you will be able to at least make it with October's kit and maybe even with November's um, on its own. Okay, so let's go to the crafting table real quick. Let me see how this goes. Jesus, I at least forget. <laughs> at least remember this. This is amazing. Look at that glare. So um, 
a few things I have not uh, really I have not chosen what I, what gift I'm going to give for the month of December. I have no clue. Um, I have to go and look, and so probably update that eventually. Um, if you order with me in November, I already have the uh, the brush instrument on its way, so you'll probably receive it more or less. I'm hoping by mid December. So that's one thing. The second thing I want to remind you all, two things actually. The first one is we have an amazing sale right now up to 60% on some of our retiring stuff from the um, holiday catalog. I know that there has been a lot of issues um, and that, you know, some people are kind of disappointed because they couldn't find certain things. It, it happens, guys. Good things tend to sell out. Like I I don't know, that's pretty common in other companies. I'm guessing that is not as common in Stamping Up, but um, again, it's pretty common in other, stamp in other companies. So I just want to say that there's a sale, and if there's something in your list, go for it and make the most out of it. The second thing I'm saying is, actually, now that I think about it, I did not show you this. And I know, again, I know you've probably seen them already, but... Ta -da! This is so exciting, guys. I can't show you anything but this. But the new celebration and our new mini catalog are available for demonstrators already. So if you are a demonstrator, you will be able to order next week on the 5th for anything in the catalog. There are many beautiful things. I do understand that, you know, many people don't want to order extras and whatever, but they have adorable adorable things and then there's the whole celebration thing right and um some of the stuff they have uh for, to give to you for free if you're new to celebration that's what they do for your 50 dollar or 100 dollar um, purchase they'll give you free stuff they are very cute as well Lastly, if you want to join Stamping Up right now, you will be able to buy stuff from the pre-order or from the new catalog. And so that's always like a plus. Uh, and I want to say in the celebration, the host is, um, re no, the joining reward is amazing. So you'll be able to choose from several things. And one of those things, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say, but it, they are amazing. Okay, enough with the announcement, sorry. So this is the beautiful um, box that comes with our paper pumpkin kit for November. This is October and they're both of them, you can just put them like side by side and have a decoration. I absolutely love these boxes. Um, um, again, like I said, I'm not going to go in detail because you've probably seen a dozen of these videos already, but I just want to show you, it brings two things. It brings two different houses that you will make into little treat boxes. So it's very simple. You fold, you fold, you fold this, this goes on top, and ta-da, you have a treat box, little box. I really, really like it. So I cannot tell you guys how much I like this. Um, okay, I just received a note that something is happening. Let me know if it goes. Please let me know if it's still going. Um, anyways, beautiful, beautiful options. It brings even the small little bags for your for food or for treats that you will be able to place inside here the second thing that it brings of course it brings cutouts and whatnot it does have a little dog in here and i was not aware until um i think anita that i have not seen here but anita told me that uh, there is a little dog um that fits in the red truck in the trucking along uh and uh, I have not played with it, guys, but it seems like it fits. It's a beautiful, beautiful little dog. And so lots of options, too, with this kit. I am, like I said, I'm not going to go over what it brings in the kit, but we're going to go straight into the card. It's not going to be, it's not a complicated card, I promise. Um, we need two pieces. And Okay, thank you, Kiwi. I appreciate that. 
So I'm, instead of black, I'm using our Knight of Navy card, the Knight of Navy cardstock. And um, I have, you know, just two pieces, five, eight and a half by five and a half, right? So just one piece divided in two. And one of them we are going to score at four and a quarter, and that will be our card base. And if you if you want to know ahead of time what this is, this is what we call a tunnel card. Um, kind of, it's called a tunnel card. I know there's many variations, so that's why I get stuck a little bit, but it's just called a tunnel card. Now we're going to get our other piece, same measurements, and we are going to align at two and one eighth. We're going to score. We're going to go to four and a quarter. We're going to score and six and three eighths, and we need to open these in here. So let's see, six. I can barely see these guys today. Six and three eighths will be there, and I think that's the one. I keep feeling that it's not. So what I'm going to do because I can't see very well is I'm going to fold this and I'm going to align this back in here. I see that I barely did that. Um, this uh, I barely scored that one. We're gonna move here again to four and a, uh, to two and, a, and an eighth and align this, okay? And score. So let me see because I think that six and three eighths is not the right measurement. Yeah, it's not. It would be oh. Six, it's six and three eighths, it looks like. It's just that I forgot how to do measurements, guys. So I, I, I hope you guys forgive me. <laughs> I, I will get in, I will get there eventually. Don't worry, don't worry, we got this. So I'm gonna bring my bone folder real quick to just crease those um, score lines we did, right? In, uh, and we have this one that we again scored at one, two and an eighth, four and a quarter, and six and three eighths. I think I was actually scoring at six and one eighth. Okay, it happens. Again, out of practice, guys, out of practice. The way to do this is we're going to fold these mount, Nabali. The one in the middle goes mountain. And then the last one will go Bali. And again, this is a card that you've probably done in the past. It's a very simple card, but it's a lovely card and it's totally worth it. I have done these right here like this. I have kind of like debated if I wanted to just do it in the, in the card stock. Uh, I guess in the cards that were part. Hi, Diane, how are you? that were part of the October kit. So for now, we're gonna work in this. So usually a tunnel card, what it will have is a circle or a square or something in this area that you can like really just play along. Since I don't wanna bring anything extra though, we are not going to make a circle. And what we're going to do is here at the four, at the four and a quarter um, piece. Actually, let's do this differently. I'm gonna bring a piece of cardstock. If I find one, oh, I have here some old pale papaya. And we're gonna make a three by four rectangle. And we'll see if that is enough. And uh, same as it's always been, guys, I am creating these on the go. This is, uh, an idea I've had for a little bit, but I've not been able to come here to the um, crafting room, right? I know that you guys are aware. And so uh, what I want is to place these in the middle. And I'm going to turn this around, actually, because this is going to be covered, right? Here in the middle, I am centering here, making sure it's as center as possible, right? And we are going to bring that wonderful, if I find it. Uh -huh. It's right here. That wonderful white gel pen. And we are going to just 
create this instead of trying to calculate the metal and if it's going to work if it's not going to work i try to make it as simple as i can for myself and so since i am not do, using a die which you can totally use right you can change these instead of being a rectangle it can be a square it can be uh, again a die um a cir circular die so uh, I am just doing this one because it feels like it's a good option and we I drew it on the back so we can see that white and then we'll have the front in here and we'll go ahead and keep cutting so I'm bringing back my um, my trimmer and I'm aligning wait let's not do this yet I'm aligning that line that white line into my view here and I guess you'll figure out what I'm going to do next I'm trying to see if that is and it is right there it's going to cut well I'm holding these as tight as I can and then I'm going back and forth with a lot of care to cut that rectangle we're going to do the exact same thing on all four sides Okay, let's see if this is okay. It seems like it is cutting in the right spot. And of course, if it's a little bit off, it'll be fine, right? There's, this does not have to be perfect. But it is good when it just like works okay, right? And here's our next cut. And that is also cutting fairly well. I don't know if you guys noticed, but my blade is brand new. And I feel like a little kid in Christmas. It is awesome when you have a, a brand new blade. Um, in our last stop, let me see. I'm again aligning that white line in our view. <clears throat> And we'll see if this is in the right spot. Let me see. It seems like it's a little bit. Oh, no. It was fine. <laughs> it was seen. I was seen. It was a little bit off, but I guess it was in the right spot. So we'll go, go ahead and cut. And like I've said before, cut with care because in the end, you can always bring your snips and cut the extras, but you cannot paste it back, I guess. Okay. So we just had a little piece in here that it's a little bit rebellious and I am going to bring my snips and we're going to cut that. Okay. First piece. Okay. So I am going to, so this piece is going to end up coming in here, right? If you've done any of these in the past and this is going to close like this. Very, very simple. I think that if you... If you know these cards, you probably know where I am going, right? Or what I'm going for. We're going to have houses in the back, houses in the front, and we'll just make our little, little billish using both kits. Now, I'm going to start on the front, and let me bring... Sorry, guys, I have some of this stuff in here ready to be used. This is one of the card bases from the October kit, and we are going to cut this. We figured that much. We're going to cut this in half. I'm going to put that away. We whoops, may be using that in a little bit. And then I'm actually going to... Let's see. This is a regular... So I'm going to actually cut these at 4 and an eighth. A 4 and an eighth there. Right? We're taking the eighth. You guys know I like my... my um, eighths and we're going to move this to five and three eighths and i'm cutting that white um just because it really doesn't matter uh we're going to bring this this is going to be super super simple guys we're going to bring this in here we could map this in white or in green if you wanted um, i am not choosing to do that just because i want to bring anything extra I, I I know I try very very hard to do that so I don't want to stop doing that even if I'm using blue but if you want another mat I will totally bring like gold olive or I do not recommend white because our whites are different unless you're using these oh, that's not a bad idea right it's just simple I don't know I don't love it guys I'm so sorry um and I'm gonna tell you why because it gets white on white and I don't think it makes a 
it does not accomplish the whole idea of framing it, right? So I am going to leave this as is in here. We'll probably use some of that white later on. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring one of these houses and just we're going to cut them. And I always feel a little bit bad when I have to cut some of these, but we are going to cut this. Okay, I'm centering these again. So I'm just aligning here where that score line is. And we're going to cut this. And hopefully that goes straight. Seems like we did a good job. And what we're going to do is we're going to have this one. Oh, I thought it was bigger. I thought it was smaller. Look at that. That's super big. Phew. That is huge, guys. Um, well, I guess we don't need this in here, right? <laughs> Being that the case. Um, but we'll have to use it. I'm just surprised. I thought it was a tiny bit smaller. <laughs> that tells you how much I... No, I'm not planning this video. So this is going to be the front of the card. Um, you can totally do this on white if you wanted, right? Um, and save these piece uh, if, if that is that may be a good idea. I am debating, guys. I am debating because I have a, I, I don't have a whole lot of vertical ones. So I am thinking what if I create like a layer here and make this like that and then just have some of this white to pair up in here somehow like this and we'll do something like that. No, that does not look very good, huh? Okay, try to. Anyways, I think we're going to stuck with my initial plan, even if I'm losing this one. I really was not expecting for that to be that big. So that happened, guys. <laughs> I'm quite surprised, I have to say. So let's go ahead and adhere our, card, our piece to card base, and then we'll bring this one here. And since this is up, I'm actually going to do... Maybe there, to, I'm, I'm putting it lower. I'm trying to figure out where I want this because what it, it does, it has a lot of, let me see. Some of these little um, cutouts, like little wreaths. And I know you you can put one in here, right? And one here, you, I, I think that the piece tells you kind of to put wreaths everywhere pretty much see like on all pieces <laughs> there's plenty wreaths that's the that that's you know the story here so I think we're going to do this um or I want this towards the top and we'll put the sentiment here hello Brenda oh I was like what <laughs> And so funny okay guys let's go ahead and do this we're going to adhere our little house hey it is cool that it has this because we can use this back um, in our in our other projects for like cardstock okay so let's bring this up I'm going to bring this actually to the middle I'm making sure that it fits on both sides um, I'm, I'm okay with this being here because we are going to bring probably one of the trees from the other kit, if I manage to find them, guys. No, I do have them here, mostly. So I think a lot of the houses, ugh, these are two. No, oh, I'm going to put them there. That, that looks good. A lot of the houses has tr have trees on the front, so I want those trees in there. And I want, of course, one of these in here. I don't want a wreath on every window. Um, I do appreciate the gesture, but it feels to me that there's far too many wreaths. I don't know what you guys think, but I have not seen a house with a wreath on every window, so <laughs> I'm gonna stick to it. And then, and yeah, we're going to put this friend in here. So let's go ahead and bring... Oh, we'll do this in the meantime. Okay, guys, tell me about your Thanksgiving. How was your Thanksgiving celebration? Did you guys have a lot of fun? 
Okay, I, I'm changing it to this side and this is white because I feel that it makes more sense to have the lower tree towards the bottom. And I am actually, I don't know if you guys can see, I am actually putting the piece all the way off of the card base or off, you know, the layers, what I'm trying to say. Okay, so I'm going to put that one there. And I'm okay with this covering one window. And I'm going to bring one of this in here. And I do have... I do have dimensionals. I'm trying to see, yes, the kit brings dimensionals. So that makes me very happy because now I feel that I can use this freely. And we're going to bring our little dimensional here, our little wreath in here, and we're going to post it there. It's a very simple card, guys. I cannot stress that enough. So let's see what we have in here. So I love this one that says warm wishes from our home to yours. And I know this is not going to be a treat, but I still like it very much. I'm going to use these in one of, if they fit, oh no, they have their own. So in one, in one of these, we're going to put this one in here and we're going to stamp. And I am sorry because I know I'm mixing and matching both kits. I hope you guys forgive me. I'm going to bring my Real red, real red was the other one, right? I'm going to bring my real red stamp pad and we are going to use real red instead of um, instead of the green. I do love red, I really love red, so I'm just going to align these in my stamping block as best as I can. That obviously didn't work very well, and you guys know I always do this, and that's one of the reasons why I love my grid papers. I always make sure everything is working as it should and that is not too inked. And I'm off practice guys. I really have not stamped anything in 14 days so wish me a lot of luck. Well it's not bad for being out of practice huh? It's a little off you guys think oh it's too off let's try the other side and the other side of course has a little thingy off so we're going to try another one don't worry guys if this one don't work we're not going to stamp it until it's perfect because we may be here all night so let's not do that i hope you, my big head is not in front of you i'm bringing this as close as i can to towards me you're sort of still seeing but that way i can also see It's just harder to see where that white is. It's just so funny. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm sorry, but my big head will have to come in front of your camera view. Sorry. There we go. That's a little bit better, right? So we are going to remove, it has a little pokey thingy to, or a little circle here that we're going to remove. And it does have, the kit brings some twine. And we're going to use that in here. And I'm just going to cut a tiny bit of it and we are going to put this through. My dogs are pretty upset at me because I didn't let them come in. They were like, they want to be here and then we don't want to be here and then we want to come in and we want to come out. And I'm like, guys, you have to make up your mind. This was a very big piece of twine, guys. You don't need this much. I'm sorry. But that is fine. And I'm going to put this one in here anyway. So... Do I want this in here? What do you guys think? Yes in there or not in there? I can totally put this in here. <laughs> how does that look like? <laughs> Hi, Adrian. How are you? I think I want this on top in here. Let me know what you guys think. In the meantime, we're going to while you guys decide if that goes well in there, I am going to bring the other card bases from our October kit. And I don't have far too many. I actually have only 
one. Ugh. We're going to have to get creative here, guys. I have used this kit so much. Oh, no, we have a couple more. Just kidding. Hi, Donna. How are you? I am glad you guys are here with me while I recover from my rustiness and crafting. So we were deciding, guys, since you just joined, if we want these little tag in here or not. Um, I think it's a good idea to have it. I think I'd like it if it were not a tag. What you guys think? Because we can use some of the, I have it. If you could see this mess, you will be laughing. Some of the other tags from the other kit. And I'm just thinking maybe without the twine, this could look better just like that. What do you guys think? I'm gonna leave that in there in the meantime. So you guys can make a choice and let me know what you think. In the meantime, that's what we're going, to, we're going to look at this and I'm just going to turn this around so you guys can see what I'm going to do. We're going to cut pieces for these areas and we are going to cut pieces for this center, which is this area. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring these back out and I'm going to cut these in that score line while you guys decide. Let me know what you guys prefer. Oops, there it goes. And so here's my thought. And okay, I'm gonna remove this here for a second. What I was thinking is we're gonna have, let's say this in here, right? And then we're gonna have these like that, okay, sort of, right? Which means, oh, ooh, nice. That's very nice. I like, that's what you were talking about snow, huh? <laughs> We're uh, so we had a very very cold Thanksgiving. It was pretty pretty cold and pretty snowy. And my mom and I even went to the stores. And I was like, "How is she doing it?" Because she's six seventy six. So my mom is seventy six, and we were hitting the stores at eight o'clock in the morning. And it was cold, guys. It was like I don't know, like. 17 degrees 14 degrees I can't remember I'm thinking in Celsius but um, it was like minus 10 Celsius and I was so surprised about her strength right so and then it warmed up and it's been quite nice so it was just really really mean Black Friday and Saturday Sunday it started to back up to heat up and now we're having another snowstorm so here we are so okay so going back to the card so my thought was I, I want to put this in here in the back but I don't want to waste of course all that so my thought is we're going to cut these at two and an eighth and we are going to just put one piece in here or so more like like this maybe we just score it huh something along these lines and i am actually thinking maybe scoring it is or just cutting and not and put it right away so this is going to be two and an a yes i'm right i don't know what i'm i'm really doubting myself today guys i swear to god i feel so completely off I am going to um, cut out a, uh, a whole eighth of this. It's not so much about framing. It is a little bit more about not having to really align these with uh, these two pieces within the card. Let me show you what I mean. Oh, thank you, Don. Yes, Donna, I agree. I, I am not a hot person, like a person that likes heat, but um, certainly. So I guess this is what I'm saying, right? Like I cut it because it makes it easier for it to close than if it's all together. But I'm going to put it as close as possible. But because it's cut, it's going to allow it to move Really, I don't know if that makes sense. Thank you, Carrie. I appreciate that. And why I cut the length is because that way I don't have to be, oh my God, it's it fits perfectly or not. It is aligned perfectly or not, right? I don't want to have to struggle with it. If I cut that, then I move this into the middle and then I don't have to struggle with that. What we need to do... <laughs> 
Kiwi, you're so funny. <laughs> Kiwi says for those on Facebook that they were um, in the upper 50s the other day and it was cold. Yeah, 16 degrees. I'm telling you. And she, with her 76 years, rock on into the outlets. So I'm not sure <laughs> what am I going to do when I'm that age. <laughs> so what I do want to say is we're going to put this in here, but we don't want them totally on top of the hello Joan how are you we don't want it on top of the score line right because that will create make it hard for it to close I am going to use glue though I don't know if this glue I should have like at least come and fix my stuff <laughs> I'm so sorry guys I do have to say so while she was here I did not take vacation vacation right um my company allows us or gives us, of course, Thanksgiving and the day after. Hi, Becky. How are you? And the day after for they, they just give us the days. So, oh, thank you, Becky. I appreciate that. Um, and so, oops, this is not going anywhere. And so it, it I always just don't take um, a lot of vacations, even if she's here, right? Um, and what we did is I did take the 22nd, so Wednesday, I did take that day off and, and another day off, but I really did not take a whole lot of days off while she was here. And so, um, because I kind of trying to save some of my vacations, right? And when she comes here, she just likes to hang out. And since I work from home, we just sit down, she sits down in my office and while I'm working and we're chatting, right? So it kind of worked really well for us. So going back to the card here, guys, I am going to align this. So remember that we took an eighth off so on the length of it. So I have to, I don't really have to because this is going to be on top. So we would not really be seeing that. But just so it's easier and I am like kind of aligning it or centering it. Let me move this a little bit here and I am respecting that the score line I don't know if you can tell I am like right next to it but not on top of it and that's where we're going to put our one and now we're going to do the same thing with the other one yeah I have not like we came to the craft room to do some printing because she wanted me to make her some like not business cards, but like some cards. And we picked up some of the Christmas cards I was sending my family, but really I have not been in here and it's just crazy. Like I was dusting today, guys. It's like a lot of dust. Okay, and now we're going to bring this in here. So it stays as, again, here is the score line and I am just putting there as best as I can, super close, but not on top because we do, we want this to close right and if we do that we put it in there it will not close well and i know it's not ideal um but i, I think i want to show you this let's do this and if it works it works my fear is it won't work but that's fine okay so i'm putting this in here all the way there okay and let's see if this see See how hard it is for it to close and it pushes back. So might as well do it on, do it on our own, oh my goodness, do it on our own terms and put it exactly where we know it's going to fit. I just wanted to show you why, even if it's going to look a little bit odd, um, we that's what we want. Okay. And again, so these are very, very close to the score line, but not on top of it. And see, it closes perfectly okay. So we are going to put this one in here and we saved ourselves a cardstock, a card, not cardstock, but a card base. Um, I'm going to bring the other one and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to cut these here at in the middle. And this is four, so I am going to cut these out. Let's see. Actually, we're going to cut them in two and an eighth again. Right? And then we're going to 
because these are going to be our panels from here. And I'm going to respect that this is the one in the right and the other one will be the one in the left. But we are going to take an eighth of the of one side and then we're going to turn around and take another eighth. Okay, let me show you one thing though before I forget. So I did take an eighth from the side that is not right next to this, right? So I know it's not, they're not going to be together and we're not going to be able to notice this, but just have it, right? And now when we take the eighth of this, we're going to turn this around and take it from here because again, it's not the part that will be quote unquote joining this house or constructing that house, right? So we're going to take that eighth and another eighth on the white because that's the one we took before. Okay, so let's move this back in here. And now we have, not there, just kidding guys. We have these two pieces that they go together in here like this. Let me remove this for a second. And we are going to adhere this in there. And this is a little rebellious. Again, I, I think they're really resentful that I didn't work with them lately. <laughs> it's just like, all stuck. I'm sorry about that, guys. So hopefully these gives in. And if not, I have the other one. This does not need to be a small piece. Hopefully this one is working. We'll see. Oh, it always works and boom, look at that. That is a wonderful idea. Kudos to Kiwi. Kiwi is saying, what if I use the white pen in the little crack in here. And I think that is brilliant. Uh, I will do that here in a minute. Thank you, Kiwi, that's brilliant. Okay, we're going to adhere these two pieces. Oh, you know what, Kiwi? I'm gonna do the white and then I'm going to do the glue that came in the October one. So this one, so it just looks shiny. Thank you, Kiwi. Nothing like teamwork, guys. There's nothing like teamwork. Thank you, that is brilliant. And, okay, we're gonna put this in here. And I am definitely using a whole lot more glue than I usually do, because my, my Tombow just like spits blue my glue. So let's go back here and we'll do what Kiwi says. That's really, really good. So I'm going to go and it does not cover very well. This, this pen is not working very well lately, but since it's chill, I'm just going to kind of go over like that and Still not covering very well. We're going to let that dry for a little bit. And then we'll try. Thank you, Becky. I appreciate it. And then I think that we can, what we can try is either the white pigment ink or uh, the white pen. That is another possibility, right? But that is a brilliant idea. Okay, I'm working all over with the white pen. And I think it definitely makes it a little less noticeable. Now, because we are doing that, we are going to bring, oops, where is it? Here it is, <laughs> look at this. So we are going to put the glue in here in the middle and we're going to put some glue some glue some glue and just to make it logical right we're going to make put glue all over the little houses and we have to do that now otherwise um we will not be able to later on so i'm going to bring more glue haha -ha. I'm really liking this. And I'm gonna put some glue just like crazy there on the trees. Because in the end, that's what the snow would look like, right? I really like to see the snow in the trees. And so I'm just gonna put like that. 
a little bit more. Okay. Ah, what you guys think? Oh, me? Kiwi is saying she will send an extra glue. Is it to me? I, I have my glue here just in case. <laughs> but if you want to send it. So what do you guys think? I think that makes it like way less noticeable. What do you think? Right? So we have our inside piece and now we have our outside piece and this piece is going to go in here and so I just want to finalize this a little bit one of the reasons why I chose blue is because I can just use this similar to the sky right I am not going to frame this with more white but I am with more blue but I am going to cut a couple of pieces and I'm going to use my scissors you guys know I really am not good with this scissors Hence, that's what happens. But I'm going to put a couple of pieces in here just like this to create kind of some snow. Um, and so that will work once we put the other houses. So let's go ahead. And I know this is the same paper. <laughs> Thank you, Kiwi. <laughs> because I'm using the back of one of the card bases, right? And so these are two and an eighth. So I'm going to bring my while that dries or being the two and an eighth and I'm going to cut it at two so we have some leeway there so two and two and we're going to bring our little snow bands and we are going to put them in here just like this. We are going to bring some of the other houses in here. And that's one of the reasons why I like this idea. Um, I'm actually, oh, look at that. It was not working before, but now it's working. Yay. Who knows what's happening to this thing? It's like, you have not used me and now you force me? <laughs> I'm telling you, it's just like so not working with me. So we do what we can, right? Oh, Thank you, Kiwi. I am so glad you're liking it. I I think that the minute I saw this to kids, my thought was, you can totally keep creating over and over and over again little villages. And I don't know if you like villages, but I have my own little village that I make every year um, in, in one of the you know tables in the dining room. And I just love the little villages. So I guess that's why I really, really love, oh my gosh, this so, so much. And so we, like, I was thinking at some point, well, we can have one of these houses, right? But these are like super big. And so these would not fit in here. Now, let me bring this in here for one second. If you want, you can totally put one of these houses instead. Um, I just kept thinking that when we had to do the division, it was going to be less efficient. <laughs> it was going to look cut. So I didn't like that idea, but you can totally, totally try it. I have not tried it. So I don't know if it's going to look good or not. Now let's go ahead and bring our glue. And glue on the other side, might as well. All we need to do is put this in here. That did not work as I was expecting, but all glue fell on my hands, same as always. So the messiness has not changed, guys. Just letting you guys know. I'm still super messy. Ah. Carrie, I don't know. That is a good possibility and I appreciate you trusting me that much that you think is that I am just messy girl <laughs> it may be it may be that that's why I think that see it's still like yeah maybe it's something like that you're onto something Carrie uh, it may be the elevation this is also a very as you guys can tell a very old um, bottle that I have had what what you guys think for like a year now um, and I think that may be the reason why it's starting to act up on me. Who knows? The tombo works okay, though. So, I don't know. Okay, so now we have our houses, and we are going to bring 
some of these. Let me bring the others because I just need to find what I have available here, guys. So we have we have several possibilities. We can totally cut these, right? Oh, thank you, Don. I am so glad you like it. So we can totally cut these in half. I, I don't see the reason to do that, but we can bring one of these that is not cut and put it in here and then cut one of these in a ways. It's just, point is it's only two, we need two. Um, let me see, let me make this this way, sorry guys. So at least two, we can do two and an eighth, but I'll be too tight. So let's do let's do two and one seven sixteenth. I know nobody likes sixteens. I am there with not liking them, but I think that may be um, the reason. And I just realized that I shouldn't have glued this. I'm going to do this. No, I'm not because I'm going to ruin it. But um, I can totally do this. And sometimes I swear to God, guys. Let's see, let's take this. I'm gonna take a little bit because that will be too high. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this red house. But I tried to unclog, unclog it, is that a word? <laughs> I tried to unclog it, so don't do this first. You can put this snow layer later. Guys, don't do this at home. It's not worth it. Okay, this is going to work well just because of what this is looking like. So this, remember this is a 16th. I don't know if you can tell, but opening and closing the glue kind of expanded. So it looks okay, but I may end up doing something in here just to cover some of that. Um, it's going to work well because this is a piece and we're going to put this piece in here. Just remember that this is just a 16th smaller, so it's pretty, pretty tight in there. So no harm just because, again, this bigger piece is going to work well. And I am going to throw this away, but I'm going to bring another piece, of course. Let me cut this, though. And cut this at 2 and, and 16. And then we're going to do our snow bank here real quick. OK. So we're going to put this in here and see, I like it this a little bit better because I don't like, I don't like it when it's just like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to make this a tiny, tiny bit smaller, maybe like an inch, a quarter of an inch. Because I want to see, to be able to see the house in here. So something like that. I like that a little bit better. And so we're going to bring our thing here. And we can put this one in here. And as you can tell, I cut it exactly the same, the same um, 2 and 1 16. So it works well. We have a lot of those smaller trees. And I may put one up here. And that's how we're going to work with this. Um, we're going to put a lot of trees whoops, around. So back to the other house. I kept thinking we need something like this in here. And we can put this one a little higher. So we're going to bring this piece and let me move this again. Go to 2 and I don't know why I keep doing this. Mm, I know why. Okay, I want this house. So I'm going to turn this and bring it to 2 and a 16, just like we did with the other one. And so we are going to have that house in there, this little spot, but I'm okay with that. And we are going to bring this one in here. And so we're going to have these pretty covered. And so that 
you remember the whole white issue it's less of an issue I don't know if that makes sense guys and I'm not going to go through the trouble of removing that I, I can be so stubborn um, but I'm not going to go do that so this is how this is going to look and it's going to open like that we're going to bring one of those trees back in here if I am able to find them I wish I could show you the mess I have is quite out of this world guys so I'm gonna bring a couple of the other trees right and I'm gonna put them in here that is fine trees trees and then I'm gonna bring one of the bigger trees and this is from the October kit and I'm gonna put one in here just like that I think what other things would I do if I could color I would totally totally bring the little dog and maybe put him running in here. Um, I don't. I just don't want to change the rules too much. But I am thinking that I am going to use it anyway. So I'm going to bring him some black. Don't don't get upset at me, guys. Um, well, maybe it's not opening. There we go. I'm telling you. So I'm going to bring this little dog, and we're going to fussy cut it real. quick quick I actually made a mistake on that poor dog okay there come on Maria I swear I know how to stamp guys there Jesus um, the these also has little gifts that you will be able to put in here if you want to um do that you know the stamp brings little gifts so you can totally totally do that this should not be complicated fussy cutting i hope <laughs> i am not a fussy cutting fussy cutting person i know i've said this a long time scissors and i are really not the best of friends but am i going to color this no i am not going to color our friend the little jorky i think is what it is um there is something that we can color actually now that i see because in our kit we have ink right and one of the inks that we have one is the let's see mossy meadow sorry guys one is mossy meadow and the kit for october was real red so you can use any of those inks to color um, well, I would use that to color. So I'm going to bring the Mossy Meadow real quick. I'm going to bring mine. You know, guys, I don't ever, not ever, but I try not to open mine. I'm going to bring this real quick in here. And because I have it right here, you do see, Renee, I am not very good at it. I was so thankful when I found out about dyes. I'm not kidding. I'm going to just bring my blender pen, guys, and we are going to color very quick that scarf that he's wearing and I am not doing a whole lot of blending or anything um, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring on my real red that I have open there and I don't know if I'm just going to clean my blender pen here real real quick there it goes and I'm going to bring the real red and the little dog has a envelope in his mouth so we have a little I would say it's a jorky what you guys say okay I'm cleaning my blender, blender pen I know if you've used it in the past you have to keep it clean otherwise it will like stop working but it will get like all messy and if you're not using blender pen guys what are you waiting for okay I'm cleaning my my big um, block in there real quick okay so I am gonna bring our little in adorable friend I think I'm gonna put him in here guys <laughs> we're gonna bring our trees that I have not adhere at all up here 
and our little jorky friend with a dimensional. This is a mini dimensional. <sighs> I think Kiwi, you're on to something. I think that all of us that don't like fussy cutting is because we're not very good at it. Um, I am not very good at it. I still do it. Don't get me wrong. I will totally, totally fussy cut whatever I need. I am not ever not going to do something just because it's not going to be perfect, right? Like, but, um, but I agree with you. I think that you're like, oh, I don't really like it just because we, we have had to go through cutting and cutting again and, oh yes, it's not very good. Okay. So this is how this one is going to look. Let me clean our doggy friend in here. I am going to bring I think I want this one in here. Sorry guys, on this side. I remember, oh my God, guys. I remember the first, first time um, a friend of mine talked to me about fussy cutting, which by the way, was the friend of the friend, my friend that she used to be a Stamping Up demonstrator. And she was talking about fussy cutting and I was like, she is crazy. I would never do that. How on earth are you even talking about doing that, right? It was quite a sad surprise that I was not good. But this is kind of how it looks. And we close it here. So we have an issue here. and We were trying to decide if we wanted just this to put like Merry Christmas or the one that had already a thingy that is lost. And I, I have to show you guys. You, you guys have to see this. Okay, let me, let me, let me, let me. My cursor is lost, okay. It's just kind of funny. Okay. You guys want to see how the mess looks like? I think this is the one. Maybe that's not it. So I think it's this one. I used the wrong one. Just kidding, guys. Ah, okay, there it is. Is it the one? Yes, okay. Let me show you guys. You'll be able to see. This is going to be fun. Okay, that's how my desk looks like. You see the mess right here? That is what I'm trying to... <laughs> That's what I'm trying to look every time, everything, and that's why I can't find it. <laughs> you see how it goes? Yes, that's why I can't find it. Oh, I'm so glad you guys like it. So we were trying to, I am trying to find here, but uh, of course, I, I know if you guys see it. <laughs> we had stamp a little bit of whoa. See, this is how these is how this looks like. So I just wanted to show you guys <laughs> my mess. Okay, so I had, and now it's lost, so we'll need a new one. So I, shall we start in here and put Merry Christmas? I think that the one that I had chosen would not fit in this. Well, maybe it will. Oh, yeah, I, you know what, Renee, I think that probably the smaller the space you have, the more careful you probably are because you have less space, or I am hoping, I don't know, I am just so messy all the time. When I am not, when I am crafting on my own, um, guys, I am not going to lie to you, like, it, at some point, I'm like, for real, Maria, like I have everything and anything on top of it. It's just really, really messy. 
and really annoying. Okay, I'm gonna like stand up in here, guys. If you didn't see me trying to do something here, it is because, well, that did not work. We'll turn around. I am not these challenged stamping, guys. It's just that I need to put my big head on top and it's just, I have tried not to do that, but it's what works best, definitely. Okay, so we are going to bring this in here and put it in here like that. And where are my bigger dimensionals? Here they are. The kit brings, well, let me see, the November kit brings. Oh my god, yes, I, I that wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> That's so funny. Ah, uh, would be isn't it just so funny? It's just anyways. Okay, so I'm bringing these all in dimensionals and I'm gonna put it in here on top of the front of the house. So we have our card. This is the front. And then somebody will open and you still have an area here to say Merry Christmas and sign your card. And it has this beautiful Christmas billish. See, I forgot the word. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. <laughs> I forgot the word. Okay, this is it. And if you see, let me move this so you guys know exactly how it looks. This kind of, the, the glue really like, expanded so I think it's probably it doesn't look bad because it's so inside that you really don't see it right but um, if you want you can probably put more glue like snow wise and make it like very snowy kind of setting just to keep continuity right and going to that and to keep continuity I will put glue in all these little houses first of all the house on the outside has it right and so and this one has them so i'm going to put that probably later on ah oh, yes the league of messy crafters i really love that kiwi that is so funny um thank you renee i appreciate it so again if if you I try, like I said, not to make more things than um, to include any other things. I was thinking maybe we can use one of these, but I'm not even sure if we can. No, that's too big. Just kidding, guys. Well, it was a good try. Anyways, um, <laughs> it is what it is. So, very simple card. Oh, thank you, Brenda and Kiwi and Adrian. I am glad that you guys like it. It was, <laughs> it was kind of like my coming back from a vacation. So I needed something I could handle. <laughs> um, and if you, I did not, I, so I don't know if you guys, so I think it's upstairs. I made a card where I did some coloring in crumb cake, which ended up being really cute. This is one of my tries and I cut it because I made a mistake, hence a try. But I did the coloring in this beautiful Santa. Um, so I am probably going to do a video for the uh, Sunday videos, simple, simple stamping Sundays, um, just doing the coloring and then I'll show you, <laughs> yes, we are a legion. Yay. I, yeah, I, we definitely belong to the club, uh, but I will do this in the Sunday video. Um, it would be less about a card and more about coloring and then we'll all color in crumb cake. I think this Santa is just adorable and easy, easy to color uh, in crumb cake. And you guys will be surprised how easy it is. We're going to practice a couple of things that I discovered while I was working on it. So to be honest with you guys, this is the first time I color in, um, in crumb cake. Uh, I know that usually what you do is use craft cake, craft paper, but I think Stampin' Up used to have it, have it, and there's not that anymore. So we will um, keep 
then you know we'll practice that one let me let me turn off a couple of things here so this is what um, simple stamping sunday is going to be it was i did make a video it got lost in the cloud i don't really know what happened guys i was pretty frustrated because i, I did it and i was trying to just kind of like kind of keep in touch with you and that just did not happen so i was a little bit sad about it Okay, let me come back here. Yes, Elizabeth, you got your color class. It's more. It's going to be more like, you know, we're going to work together. It's not, I have to tell you guys, it's not super hard. I, I was pretty scared when I started. And this is like, I am not dying, lying. This was my first try. And I am not an artist of any sort. So... The second one, which is the one I actually make pictures or took pictures of that most of you have seen, um, I I had already tried that one and I was able to perfect a little bit. Um, but guys, it's super easy. I love the blender pens. And yes, these are the guilty ones. Uh, let me try to see something in here if I'm able Okay, guys, I do have to be honest. I have to, um, I have not been able to complete, not complete, that's not the word I'm looking for. Um, I have not been able to get into the account that was doing the raffles. So that's why I have not done raffles well lately, but um, I'm not doing the raffle today. Um, that said, I will look for something new and get back to you. Part of the problem is that, um, so the one I have is a comment picker. So if every comment you put in the comment area will automatically uh, see it. But I like to include the people that are in the chat and when that happens i am lost like i cannot do it so it's kind of frustrating um it takes a lot of time i have to actually input each and one of you and thankfully in a way there's only a few of us right it's not far too many but um it does take some time so that's why I, i'm trying to look for another option um that was one thing Some of what Carrie says, she thinks she need she needs to get some of those. Some of what I am looking. Did I miss something? Tell me. Anyways, we need the blenders for to color in the crumb cake, um, and that's what we're going to be doing Sunday. Let me see if there's anything else I'm missing. I don't think I'm missing anything. I don't think so. Okay, guys, I know it took a little bit longer, a lot of chatting. Um, I will most likely, that's, oh, that's kind of a, I will most likely um, order everything, not everything, let me rephrase this. I will order whatever I can and I like from the new catalog as soon as it's available. And I will have a unboxing party um to show you guys what we got really two of the most beautiful um options you've already seen which were the lavender sweet and what was the other one nature sweets nature's sweet sweet <laughs> oh miss carrie yes you need that one and i just want to tell you this this is still waiting for whatever reason i've been at 20, well, I'm just going to like $2,999. <laughs> so if you guys have a friend, tell them to subscribe so we can wrap this. Okay. Um, so let's see. Uh, so Elizabeth, the, the st Simple Stamping Sundays, is, is it airs at midday. I, I'm i debating if we want to do that um, alive because I know that way we can chat about about tips, I guess. Um, so I'm debating about that. But oh, I always upload the Simple Stamping Sundays at midday, not midnight. I think I said midnight, right? At midday. 
Yes, Kiwi. I like a lot of the stuff in the new mini catalog. Um, I got a lot of the stuff that I could in, um, you know, that I could. But the truth is, uh, I will have to. Oh, I like the bees too. I like the bees. I was able to get those earlier because of the on stage. And then because on stage two, I was able to get some of the sweets they have offers. So I have those. Um, there's a couple of other sweets that I want. There's a very cute one. Get a friend to subscribe. Get a friend to subscribe. All we need is one more subscriber, guys, to... <laughs> to give this away um and so yeah i have to say that they have there are many many cute things i show you guys the um dog stamp like the dog background stamp i love that stamp um they have many many beautiful things i can't and there, i mean there's surprises so hopefully i am able to get that stuff and then i will have it as soon Oh, you did, Adrian? That's so exciting. I got it at the beginning of the week, I think. I'm surprised you got it so late. I'm usually the last one to get it. Like uh, like Tara that is not here today, she always gets this stuff like the next day. And I'm like, girl, where do you, when do you get that? So, how do you get it so quickly? So, oh, and there's one announcement I wanted to say. Oh, my God, this one sixteen, an hour 16. So Stampin' Up! is changing how they are envisioning paper pumpkin kits. And what they are going to do is, yes, oh, yes, the DSP. Sorry, I get distracted. Um, what they're going to do is that from now on, two things. They're going to have always a die, dies, yeah, die add-on um, that will be included for the... Um, for the quarter so for example you're going to have a die that will work for i think it's december january and february i, I don't want to mess that but bottom line three months you will have a die on that will work with those stamps that's how it's going to work and they are actually um giving us hints of how of what the paper pumpkin kit is going to look three months in advance so we're going to get that kind of like what i was telling you like um in december we we already know what december is going to look like right but we also know now how um February, uh, January and February, if, uh, January and February look like. And I think that is amazing. If you have um, paper pups, pumpkin subscription, you can look into it if you want to keep it or cancel it or, you know, put it on pause. But also, if you are a demonstrator, you can actually push it a little bit more. Hey, you're going to have this many. And, and let me see if I'm able to do this real quick. Um, like I said, they have so many beautiful things. I don't know where I saw. Maybe I can't show you yet. Let me put the brakes in there. But that's what they're doing. And I think it's brilliant, right? So at this point in time, I can tell you that I've seen, um, it's kind of the same pictures, right? It's not like I see what the paper pumpkin kit looks like, but it, that would the January, I think, is going to match with the lavender, the perennial lavender um, suite. And so my take is that the dyes that we're going to see or be seen are going to be related to the perennial sweet lavender, perennial lavender suite. And so um, I don't know, I'm very excited about some of these changes. I think that they are stepping up the game to compete with, um, you know, all the offer that's out there. So... I'm sorry. <clears throat> what did you miss, Adrian? The, the paper pumpkin kit update? Let me see. I just received the email today. Let's 
So So the email I said I received it says that starting the December 11th uh, Dale announced an offer a coordinating coordinating die set each quarter um, available for subscribers of course while subscribers last so uh, on on December 11th you will get a coordinating coordinating die for January February and March and I and then you will be getting like those like the pictures of what's going to be in the box kind of what we always get um, for those three months ahead of time so you're able to kind of I don't know how to say it. Yeah, um, I can send them to you if uh, if you want. I can send them to you. Um, kind of like be able to promote the whole packet, right, of paper pumpkin kits. <laughs> because they, what I think is going to be is that they are all related. And that is fairly awesome. Um, I think, Adrian, do you, do you participate in the paper pumpkin kit demonstrator connection? Um, if you don't, you can be the, oh, yeah, uh, you can log in there, um, on Tuesday. I think they're going to have like a event trying to explain their new marketing thingy. Anyways, lots of chatting. You and I, Adrian, can talk about it in Messenger or in, in the phone. We can talk about that. That's very cool. But yeah, I think it's a really great idea to be able to promote as a demonstrator if you're selling kits, um, you know, like the whole three-month packet instead. Hey, keep subscribed because we have all these beauties, you know. Anyways, guys. I'm so excited to be back. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Thank you for being so fun. And um, hopefully we will be able to um, see you. I, I am thinking it's going to be a live on Sunday at midday. Um, so we can color together. And then I'll see you also on Tuesday on my regular Tuesday live. Okay, Carrie, I'll, I'll send all that uh, info to you and to Adrian. Sounds good? Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your evening. And I, um, I hope that you guys um, have a wonderful weekend and talk to you soon, I hope. Like I said, I'm, I'm really thinking on... Sunday. Missed you. I missed you all bunches and I'm so glad that I could chat with you guys today. <laughs> Bye.